Okay, today we're going to be showing you how to mark up your maps with your chosen pens and how to wash them off, whether they're made of paper in the traditional way or whether they're on our washable fabric maps. Our great thanks to Sue Barrett, Adventure Queen Mother, for helping us with this beautiful summary video. Today we want to test three different marker pens for three very different purposes. There is our recommended uh, Crayola Super Tips. Uh, we can we'll sell these to you on the website. Uh, they will mark up the map but very easily wash off and pretty much wipe off with water. This Sharpie is non-washable and it's a permanent marker as you can see here. We wouldn't normally recommend this, uh, but it will leave a permanent mark if you want to uh, keep something permanently in mind. And we'll look at ways of perhaps removing that if you do get it onto your map. Normal felt tip pen. This one by Scribblicious, um, but it could be the normal Crayola series, uh, for example. The other so, brand names that you see in here, they're not supporting me in any way whatsoever. So I'm just literally using the stuff that I find works best for me. Uh, really hope you enjoy it. And please do subscribe below. Pick up lots of tips on how to look after maps, how to navigate. And so let's mark up those maps. Uh, so we recommend this washable felt tip pen. It can uh, guide you round all of the byways that you prepared in advance and the bridle ways. Uh, we recommend this uh, super tip uh, for just this sort of purpose. So that's our first line. And we've got a Sharpie as the second line and our standard felt tip for the last line. Only fair to do exactly the same thing on a paper map. So here's a, an Ordnance Survey Explorer map with the same pens upon In fact, I'm a little bit embarrassed about making this film. We've been running splash maps for 10 years, making the most robust maps anyone can buy on the market. Um, and yet we haven't carried out this simple test. Uh, and indeed at the National Outdoor Show, um, we had Duke of Edinburgh Award uh, leaders coming up to us and not wanting to buy our product because they didn't really know how to mark it up. Um, well, so today I hope we're going to expel any doubts there are and uh, and would invite anyone, particularly Duke of Edinburgh Award, um, to come along and test out our maps in just the same way. Treat them rough. That's how maps should be treated. And so now a little bit of a test with a damp cloth. Which one of these pens is going to come off? So after a bit of elbow grease, you can see that the green washable felt tip pen is coming off quite nicely. The Sharpie is not budging at all and the normal felt tip is sticking. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's only fair to apply the same thinking and the same test to the traditional paper map. As you can see, nothing's budging. Never really wanted to give up on paper, we soaked this section of map with nail varnish remover overnight and came back the next day to scrub it off. Oh dear, it looks like nothing's coming off this map apart from the map information that you wanted on there in the first place. Not a resounding success. And so to the machines. Um, so we're going to run it through the washing machine now. Um, I'm going to use Granger's. Um, so there's Nick Wax as well, and I'm sure there are other brands that you could use. Um, but I use this uh, for uh, all of my weatherproof stuff. So we've got a, an accumulation of um, clothes that need to go in, mountain biking shorts, and my smock from Paramar. Um, and my family have put their stuff in there as well. So the map will go in there together with the right quantity of, uh, of Grangers and let's see what that does. Following the instructions on the bottle, it was two capfuls for the first item in the machine and one capful for each subsequent item that goes in. We recommend a coolish wash at 30 degrees. That's totally sufficient for getting a nice clean map.
Well, Granger's don't make extravagant claims like it can remove Sharpie from things. Uh, Granger's is really about restoring the waterproofness of the uh, the product, which is important, of course, for, for splash maps because these are waterproof, uh, washable and uh, reusable maps. So that stain so far is remaining. Uh, I'm going to do my own investigations in how to remove that. If anyone's got any top tips they could share with me, that would be terrific. In the meantime, please subscribe uh, and you will see uh, the solution to this in a few films time. Bye -bye. And there you have it. If you want a permanent mark on your map, there's nothing better than a Sharpie. If you want to have something that's on for the duration and comes off in the washing machine, use a normal felt tip pen. And if you want something that wipes clean, use our recommended super tips from Crayola. And if you want to see a paper map in a washing machine, just hang on for a few more seconds. So failing on the first test, into the machine it must go. Now, well, I think most people watching this will realise that an Ordnance Survey paper map is not designed for that sort of thing. Um, most water that gets on it will destroy the map, so I think we'll skip that test. Leave that for the more robust sort of maps. Okay, what else can I use?